da, da, da. New AirPods. AirPods 4, finally here. Hey guys, Thunder E here, and yes, we have the AirPods 4 in-house, and today we're gonna to be comparing it against its biggest competitor, I guess, which would be the Galaxy Buds 3. Both of them have that open ear design that a lot of people love, including my wife. So I wanna see which is actually the best one out of the two. The AirPods have been a staple in terms of audio for a lot of people, whether you're an iOS user, iPad, iPhone, or even just a general smartphone user, it's quite renowned and quite known. Now the AirPods 4s have come in with a different design and also a smaller package. And they also come in two variants. So you do have one with ANC and without. Pricing is very straightforward. With ANC, it's 179. Without ANC, it's 129. And the only clear difference between the two is from the case where you do have speakers at the bottom of the case for the ANC version and without no speakers. So when you're doing the Find Me, you can actually locate it with, of course, your ANC buds. For this video, it says Baby Star. So you know. Now, what makes it different and what's new with the AirPods 4? So the first thing is the case size. It's much smaller than the original AirPods. You can see just in size, more compact, which is pretty good. And you've also got longer battery life as well. You're looking at roughly around five hours with the buds and 30 hours with the case for the non ANC variant. And the ANC variant is four hours with the buds and 20 with the case. Now, when you take it out of the case, you now have this very unique and different design. It's a much shorter stem right here. You can see how small that is uh, in comparison. And even in comparison to the Galaxy Buds 3, it's really shorter stem all the way through. It's still a very classic design with a stem where you do have the pinch area on either of the buds, but the ear canal opening is much wider in comparison to the original AirPods. Now they're kind of similar, I would say, for the Galaxy Buds 3, and Apple has a lot of new things included here. Some improved microphones, the H2 chipset, which you find in the AirPods uh, Pro 2, and also have updated drivers in here. So you're expecting better sound overall. Now let's talk about how they compare to the Buds 3. Now the Buds 3 has a very similar looking case, but much bigger, much wider. You can clearly see with the open top, which is pretty nice. So at least you can locate your Buds. This doesn't have the lighting like the Buds 3 Pro, but you can see the longer stem and it's got that blade finish that Samsung likes to call. You can pinch on the sides and also has the open ear canal. Now, what's interesting about the Buds 3 is that this come with the dual amateur drivers, the same drivers in the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro, so you should be expecting similar sound. In terms of heights, as you well know, the AirPods 4 are much shorter, but not by much, honestly, to be, to be fair. Now, let's talk about the very first thing, bits. That is the most important thing. Now for me, traditionally, buds that are designed like this do not fit well in my ears. It's just been a standard thing for quite a long time. With these two new buds, it's a bit different. So the Galaxy Buds 3 do fit well and I can use them, but I still will get that slippage, especially on my right ear, and also just not a, a tighter fit. While the AirPods 4 have a much better fit, I'm really surprised. Honestly, I'm in shock on how well they fit. They fit quite well. I don't have to turn it all the way up, which I tend to do with my buds. I can actually place them here and they will stay. So for someone like me, which traditionally this doesn't work, this will work well. People who like the these design, this is a godsend. The more slimmer flat back here makes a really good job compared to the more rounded edge on the Galaxy Buds. So because of that fit, uh, you get a better, at least general listening experience. So how does that help with active noise cancellation since they both have active noise cancellation? It's quite simple. The better fit always helps with ANC. So the winner here clearly for me is the AirPods 4. Now in terms of ANC cancellation, I kind of gave it a number scale. 
with the AirPods 4, I get about 60 to 70% cancellation when I was on my flight, which is pretty good, especially on a plane. While with the Galaxy Buds uh, 3, I was getting about 50, say maybe about 55, 60 cancellation, which wasn't that great. So I could hear a lot of that rattling on the 777-200. Honestly, I wish I had recorded the seating chart on the plane. United, what are you doing guys? Like seriously, change this, this is old. It's very old, I mean, and I digress, just shift that to the side. But this fit was so much more impressive with the uh, AirPods 4, especially with noise cancellation, that I could actually use it to watch some shows on my iPad and then enjoy that experience uh, overall. So in terms of active noise cancellation, the AirPods 4 actually do a really good job here. Now, when it comes to audio, which is the big thing for me, not for a lot of people, because all studies show that people prefer fit, over audio more than anything else, but audio is really key for me for my listening experience. So how well do they actually sound? Now, let's start off with the Galaxy Buds 3, which do a really good job with his audio experience because he does have this dual amateur drivers, the same drivers in the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro. So you're getting the same experience. Now, those Buds 3 Pros have ear tips, so you're getting a much more tighter seal, so you really hear the music well. With the Buds 3, uh, discounting that seal, nature you're getting very clean sound your mids are really solid your low ends really come out well again the store drivers really come into play and the high end is more pronounced so you can actually hear them without distortion on the top end so which means your music listening is really solid on them now moving over to the airpods 4 which has the new h2 chip and also new drivers i was expecting a much better experience and i have to say that while it's good for me it was a bit disappointing one of the things here is that the highs really felt like they were scratching at the top and there's really not much on the low end there. The mids are solid and you can generally enjoy this with a lot of good tracks, but again, those two ends just didn't hit it for me. So I wasn't too impressed with the audio quality, especially with something that had a much better fit, which I was expecting to hear more out of. So in terms of audio, I gave that to the Galaxy Buds 3. Now this section here, I want you guys to decide for yourself. So you're on phone calls quite a bit and uh, mics are really important. So how good are the microphones on the AirPods 4 and the Galaxy Buds 3? Let's take a listen. This is the test of the voice memo app, but I'm using the AirPods 4 to record this. I'm roughly around 20 feet away from my phone. So you get a good idea of what this actually sounds when talking with the microphone and instead of just recording off a video, but we'll do that as well. So you see the differences here and uh, we can make that decision. So this is a recording of the Galaxy Buds 3. I'm roughly around 20 feet away, as I mentioned with the AirPods 4. And this is an example of what it sounds like recording using the microphones of the Buds. So hopefully this gives you a good idea. Let's go ahead and move on to our very next section. Yeah, they are okay. And I had to use the voice recorder because for whatever reason, I could not use the AirPods 4 on my iPhone to actually record audio directly. So I wanted to keep it a fair comparison that way. Uh, I would say both of them are roughly around the same with the uh, AirPods 4 having more reverb and a little bit clearer on the audio, while, um, on the speaking audio. While the Galaxy Buds 3 are a little bit tinny, especially while speaking, but louder. So pick and choose one half, two dozen, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, now functionality. This is where apps, AI, all these different features uh, have different elements of how these buds actually work. So with the AirPods 4, you've got a lot of uh, improved functionality, which I'm glad now that Apple has, you know, added more features to its uh, settings section, which kind of acts like the app for the AirPods. So you can go in there to fully go through your customization for your transparency and things like that. Uh, you also have your gesture features, which are now new. So when you have your AirPods 4, you can basically put them in your ears and you know, you get a phone call, you can nod to answer, or you can shake to basically cancel those calls, which are great. Um, and then you can also do some more customization in there. There's also adaptive audio, adaptive 
Mavic EQ you still cannot customize or do anything with, which I do not like, I'm not a fan, but that's just what it is. Now with the Galaxy Buds 3, you do have a ton of features also built into the app as well, uh, from controlling the active noise cancellation, things like that, to also having the game lab function to basically reduce latency for gaming. So if you're a gamer and you want to use Buds for game, this is a really good feature. Plus the advanced EQs as well, which allow you to pick custom EQs, but also customize your listening experience. Every company should give that because nothing is tuned for everyone properly. And I like that feature. I'm glad that's actually there. The other thing too is that Samsung has its own gesture style features, which means that when you have your buds in, you can basically say, play music, and it will play the music. You can stop music. It's actually playing. <laughs> you can say stop music and it's quite effective. It's actually built into the buds themselves. It's not something that is actually off the system. And this can also work with its AI features as well for translate. You can actually do translation uh, through the buds to your phone and vice versa. So you do have that there. So there's some nice features there. I do like the extra AI features coming through that, but to be fair, you can also do some of that through Siri, Apple intelligence, with your headphones, so you do have that there as well. When it comes to these features, um, I do, I will give the slight edge to the Galaxy just because of the EQs. Honestly, for me, that is golden. It means that my listening experience is so much more better, but I like the fact that they do have a lot of features, you know, with 360 audio, spatial audio, and things like that. And now it's time for the grand finale. So the main question is, which is better? And I have to quantify this into two sections. When it's, if it's purely about audio, then it's the Galaxy Buds 3. And I think for me, it's a, it was a much more listening experience overall, but that's not what makes a pair of earbuds. There are a lot of things that come in together and I will give that edge to the AirPods 4. Yes, because of the better fit and especially, I can't stress how much is, I naturally cannot wear designs like this. So for me, this is a big plus. And also the better active noise cancellation here and decent audio. It's a much more well-rounded solution for a lot of people. And you also have two varying price points. Remember, 179 if you want ANC, 129 if you don't, and this is also 179 itself. So you can see why this might be a very good choice for a lot of people and for those who are still on the original um, AirPods that are $99 on Amazon or $79, whenever is a deal. This is a good option for you to jump into to have something with you know at least better audio, new features, and also just jump into the modern age. So guys, tell me what you think. Do you think it's the Galaxy Buds 3 are just better in general? Or do you think the AirPods 4 are something finally you can pick? You can also customize it with, of course, your own engraving. I have a kid, that's why baby's here. I'm gonna put my son's name out there for you guys. I'm joking, but you know, it's a lovely kid. Dad, yes. Anyway, thank you very much guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and always enjoy entertainment. I'll put one in each year. <laughs> and then I say, play music. When it comes to audio, and I love audio, it's the Galaxy Bud. We love audio. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs>